What's going on YouTube, GS Knight here. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the status of the iOS 11.4.1, iOS 11.4 and iOS 12 jailbreak. We're going to cover everything that happened important in the past weeks. And also we have some important news to discuss. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone, which allows you to back up your iPhone easier than with iTunes and fix it with the built-in iOS system repair if it's broken. Check the program out in the link below. So I'm going to start with the news for the regular viewers. So if you go ahead in here, you can see that Brandon Azad has posted a brand new vulnerability, which is called CVE 2018-4280. Now this vulnerability targets more the macOS 10.13.5, but it's also compatible with iOS and this one is actually a pretty hefty one that might be usable for a jailbreak. And the reason I'm saying this is that this vulnerability allows you to get yourself privilege escalation and also you can get the task port of any process in the system. The way this vulnerability works is pretty much detailed in here on the uh, write-up that has been posted. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and definitely take a look. And even though the code in here has been tested on macOS and is targeting macOS, if you go ahead in here on the about the security content of iOS 11.4, one, you can see that in the listing in here, there is the CVE 2018-4280, which is this one in here, if you take a look. And this one has been posted by Brandon Azad, and it says, quote, impact, an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. So definitely usable in a jailbreak context and definitely very powerful. Now, in the other news, pound to own has updated his jailbreak uncover with my version of the uh, VFS, which improves the success rate. So if you've been using the VFS exploit, you know, the exploit that doesn't require a developer account, then the uncover should have a version that works much faster than previously. So he says, quote, I'm aware of the great changes made to VFS to improve the success rate by FC365. I'll be merging them into the mainstream really soon. And then of course he did merge my changes to the uh, Uncover jailbreak and posted an update. Quote, the Uncover jailbreak has been updated to version 1.1.2 with significant improvements to empty list VFS and slight improvements to multipath. Special thanks to FC365. So anyways, if you want to use an updated version of the Uncover that works fine with the uh, VFS, which doesn't take a thousand years to get it going, definitely use the version 1.1.2. However, if you're running on iOS 11.1.2 or lower, you will get such error like this one in here with fail to spawn jailbreak D. And this is a bug introduced in version 1.1.1, doesn't have anything to do with VFS. However, if you do get that, definitely go ahead and downgrade your Uncover to version 1.1.2. 1.1.0. With that being said, we're going to move on to the next segment, which is pretty much a recap of the important events in the iOS jailbreak community. And I'm going to start with the fact that recently Kurima has posted another vulnerability for iOS 12.0.1 and lower that can be used in a jailbreak. And this one is a WebKit vulnerability, which means that it can be used in a potential jailbreak me type iOS 12 jailbreak, which means that you would go to a Safari on a website, press jailbreak and you would be jailbroken. No IPA and no signing every seven days and so on, which would definitely be very, very good. And this vulnerability is actually very powerful and is definitely a good candidate for a jailbreak vulnerability. So I will be keeping an eye on it, but I can definitely see it being used in a jailbreak for iOS 12 in the future. So very important development in there. The next one that is actually very important is for the iOS 11.4.1. If you missed this video, I talked about the light speed vulnerability in here, which is a proof of concept for iOS 11.4.1 and macOS 10.13 which is basically a kernel vulnerability in Lio List IO. There is actually a write-up around it and it's very, very good. So if you take a look in here on Synactive, they say, quote, Lightspeed, a race for an iOS macOS sandbox escape. Now, the entire write-up is actually worth reading and if you want to read it, definitely do so. You will learn probably quite a lot about this vulnerability and about iOS. However, these are some bits that may interest you if you want to jailbreak. Quote, TLDR, disclosure of an iOS 11.4.1 kernel vulnerability in Lyo list IO and a POC to panic. And then you have this one in here which says, quote, because the list IO Lyo syscall is reachable from any sandbox and given the potentially interesting primitives offered by the vulnerability, Lightspeed might be used to jailbreak iOS 11.4.1. However, this blog post will solely explain the vulnerability and provide a code to trigger it to crash the kernel. Sorry, jailbreak ATA folks. 
the jailbreak will have to wait. So this is definitely powerful and can be used for a jailbreak. In fact, I would be surprised to not see it being used in a jailbreak, but of course the uh, proof of concept in here cannot be used for the moment. So somebody has to write his exploit on top of this vulnerability in here. But the fact that the vulnerability exists and can be used is definitely important. Now, the last thing I would like to cover is the fact that there is also a vulnerability for the iOS 11.4 that people might not remember, but it's still available. So Brendan Azad posted back in September, quote, iOS full user space compromise via malicious crashing. Versions of the iOS 11.4 are vulnerable, but the exploit only targets 11.2.6. The write-up also discloses some new mitigation bypasses. So this works for iOS 11.4 and of course can be used on an iOS 11.4 jailbreak, but the light speed one which is available for the iOS 11.4.1 might as well work for iOS 11.4. So we definitely have enough vulnerabilities for the moment. And as you can see, they have piled up in a quite interesting way. Now it's very important to have vulnerabilities, especially since a jailbreak is pretty much built on top of exploits that exploit vulnerabilities. And if you don't have vulnerabilities to exploit, then you don't have a jailbreak. So of course the most important step for a jailbreak is to have the vulnerabilities available, which in this case we mostly do. Thank you for watching, I really hope this video served as a recap and you understand the current situation of the iOS 11.4 iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12 chill breaking. All of these versions have vulnerabilities and all of these versions are safe to stay on for the moment. So do not update if you're running iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Snow. Until the next time, peace out.